This tutorial explains how to deal with the error message of the ggplot2 package geom point requires missing aesthetics in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, you can see a new window, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains 10 rows and two columns, which are called call one and call two. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. And after running this line of code, we can apply the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines eight and nine. So let's assume that we want to draw our data in a geom point scatter plot. Then we might try to use the code that you can see in lines eight and nine. So please note that in this case, we are specifying only the first column call one. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom that the error message geom point requires the following missing aesthetics y has been returned. And the reason for that is that we have only specified an X value for the geom point function. However, if we want to use the geom point function, we always need to specify an X and a Y value. So if we want to fix this error message, we need to specify this Y value that is missing in the code in lines eight and nine. So we can do that as you can see in lines 11 to 13. So in these lines of code, I'm using basically the same syntax as in the previous example. However, this time I'm also specifying a Y argument and I'm setting this argument to be equal to our second column, which is called call to. So if you run lines 11 to 13 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a ggplot2 scatter plot has been created and no error message is shown anymore in the RStudio console. So in this example, I have explained how to add a second column to our plot. However, it might also be the case that you want to draw only one variable in a ggplot2 plot. And in this case, you can use the qplot function, as you can see in lines 15 and 16 of the code, in combination with a seekalong function. And we need to apply this function to our column that we want to draw. And we need to specify our column once again. So in this case, basically the X values are the sequence from one to the number of cases in our data frame and the Y values are corresponding to the actual values in our column. So if you run lines 15 and 16 of the code, you can see that another plot is created and this time the X axis is representing the sequence from one to the number of cases in our data and the Y axis is representing our data frame column one. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.